Hey there, this is Kristen with K Design Co. And today I'm going to be showing you how to embed a Shopify buy button into your Show It website. So the example I'm going to be giving is actually using my own website. So on my sales page for my Becca template, um, I have some buy buttons. I actually use Thrivecart instead of Shopify, but you can use Shopify just as well to sell your products. So um, today I'm just going to show you um, how I would switch those out if I was going to be using Shopify. So I would um, actually delete um, the if there's any existing placeholders in your template, um, they're non-functioning buttons. So I'm just going to hide this one for now so that we don't have it and I'll hide the mobile version too. And first what you need to do is set up your products in Shopify. So I'm going to go ahead and create a very basic demo product for this example. So I'm going to call it the Becca template. Here is my description. Oops. And then I will add a picture, which I have ready to go here. Drop that in. I'm going to set my price. Don't charge tax. Don't track quantity. And it's a digital product, so I don't need that as well. So this is a very basic setup. Obviously, you're going to take more time to fill out the details for your own products. But just for this example, I'm just showing this as an option. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and save. Actually, I'm going to check active and then hit save. And what you're going to want to do next, once you have your product set up from a basic standpoint, is you're going to go over here back to your sidebar and under sales channels, um, there's a buy button option. If there's not a buy button option for you, you just need to click this little plus sign and then it should show up in this list for you to add it to one of your sales channels. And so what's great about the buy button is that you can actually use it to embed um, products on your website without paying for the full Shopify plan. So the buy button is available under the Shopify light plan, which is a lot um, more affordable um, if you're not using a full online store. Um, through Shopify. So this is great if you're just embedding products into your site. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click buy button and then create a buy button. So you'll want to click the top option just to embed a product. Select next and then it's going to give me some options over here where I can select the style. Um, if you are in it's kind of up to you how you want to embed this. For my purposes, I literally just, I have everything else designed on the page. I just want to put a button here. So I want my button to be as basic as possible. I don't necessarily need a preview of the image with it. Um, so I'm just going to hit basic. So that just gives me the button. And then it's going to ask what behavior do I want to um, happen after they click the button? Do I want them to just add it to a cart or to check out? Um, or open for more details. So for this situation, I would just say go direct to checkout because of the nature of the product. It's not something that people are going to be buying multiple templates probably. So, um, but it depends on what you're selling. So I'm going to just say direct to checkout. And then I have the option to change my button style. So um, if I don't want rounded corners, which I don't because all the buttons on my site are not rounded, I'm just going to pull that slider over to um, the edge. If I wanted rounded corners, obviously you could do so like that, um, but I don't. So that looks good in no rounded corners. And then it's asked me what button width I want. If I want it to match the other buttons on my site, I can take a look at, uh, let's say this one, for example. Um, and then I see the width of that is 277. So I can go ahead and, oh, it's actually increasing the padding on either side. So it might take a little bit of guess and check to, um, to format that exactly as that one, but we can get it close. So, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that's pretty close. Maybe knock it down to 80. Okay. So then I can change the background colors on my um, 
button. And again, I can reference what I'm using um, on my existing site if I just want to pull the color that I'm using um, on this one so for the border. I'm just going to open my color palette here and I'm just going to copy that over so it's easy to pull. I'll paste that in here and now my button matches the styling. You can change also the color of the text, but I actually want to keep it white. I think that looks good. Um, you can change the text font. So um, there's not custom fonts per se in this option, but you do have many of the free Google fonts as an option. So there might be a good alternative that's comparable to the font that you're using on your site. Um, for me, Lado is a pretty close um, alternative to the font that I use on my site. So then you can just change the sizing if you want. If you want to bump it up to be a little larger or bump it down to be a little smaller, you can do that. I think 15 is actually pretty good. So I'm going to leave it like that. So another thing you can do is you can also preview what it's going to look like um, in different browsers, but essentially it's the same. Um, it just gives you some context there. So then I'm going to go back to um, my advanced settings here. Just make sure that is accurate to what you want to happen. If you want the checkout to pop up or you want to just redirect in the same page, you can do that. I actually kind of like the pop up. Um, so I will leave that as so. And then we've already um, set the button style. Um, the layout, you, under layout, you can also change the text for the button. So if I wanted it to be uppercase, I could actually change that to that. So by now, um, if you had something that you wanted people to purchase multiples of, that you could add this um, show quantity field. I'm going to change it back to desktop view. Um, as an option, I don't really need that functionality, so I'm just going to check it off. You could also change the alignment um, to be left or right. I think center is going to work best, so I'm going to keep it centered. And then now that I have the button close to how I want to look at it, I'm just going to hit next. Okay, so now I've generated a code that I just need to copy. And then you're going to go straight over to your site here. And then we're going to use an embed code on the page. Double click into the box. Paste it into the box. Save it. And then you'll see the button appear on the page. So now what I need to do is just adjust the sizing so it's more accurate. One thing you'll notice is that you um, need to uh, make sure that you're at the default zoom. Um, so you're actually previewing the button um, at the size that it is actually going to show on your page. So with here, the button sizing is a little bit off from what I have, but I could easily just change the sizing to match um, this one so that they were even if I wanted to do that and if I was actually going to be placing this button here. Um, with embedding buttons like this, you, ha you don't have as much control over the look um, as you do in show it or the show it um, based elements, but you can get them pretty close so that it creates a seamless experience. So now that I have my button on here, um, you'll notice that I've created a new element in the layers panel over here. I can rename that just as my buy button so I know what that's referencing. And then I'll also want to make sure that I click over to my mobile view. And by default, it's going to kind of create this long container that I don't really need. Such a long container. Um, and then if you see this weird how it's kind of squished um, the text on top, you can stretch out. So there it goes. That's a better fit for sure. Okay, and then I can go ahead and center that using my centered canvas button. So that is um, closer to how we actually want it. And like I said, you can adjust any other buttons on the page so that the this, this widths and size matches. Uh, but this is um, at least close enough for example's sake. So now that I have my button embedded there, 
I'm going to go ahead and preview what this looks like using my preview button and show it. And I'm actually going to pop this out so I can see it full size. So if I scroll down, now I can see that I have a buy button here. Um, since this is just a demo, mine's actually not going to work since I do not subscribe to Shopify Lite. But um, once you have your um, settings set up in Shopify and you've connected your um, either PayPal or payment, other payment integration, then you should be able to have a functioning shop. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to put your comments below or subscribe to K Design Co. YouTube channel for more tutorials. Have a great day.